Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Token Games Podcast. I'm your host and sometimes referee, Zach Pearson. And today I'm joined by Pika, that legendary iconic Mitsu. Okay, does anybody know what's going on right now? Not at all. Don't know. It is, it is a, uh, a rock song that has been memed up quite a bit. It is yeah. hilarious. Well, for a little while, though. Motherfucker, it only means we know about around here is Ultra Instinct memes. Come get on that Ultra Instinct game, son. And we're also joined by a returning classic slash favorite, Romulus. Omae wo mo shinderu. Nani? Hey, at least you got close to saying it with a straight face. And, of course, the one who polices them all. Because if you don't, he's going to beat you with his club and get away with it. Officer Sergeant Cops. As someone already said, you are already dead. But in Japanese. Okay, all right. Today's topic is pretty simple. It's gonna feel like my will talk, but it's really just you know us doing shits. All right. So basically, uh, long story short, a lot, a lot, a lot of Marvel Netflix shit then came out, cause you know they really ain't got nothing planned for December except for Star Wars, and most of their power and whatnot is going into next year. <laughs> all right. So basically. <laughs> Uh, long story short, Mar- Mar- uh, excuse me, the Punisher came out, but also at the same time as the Punisher coming out, so did what was it? Uh, the Runaways on Hulu. Now this isn't a battle of who's better than the other in any way, shape, or form. Just so we're clear, this is just a simple discussion on what we like and why we like it. Now, obviously, some of us haven't seen, uh, whatchamacallit, some of us haven't seen all the shows, so I'm going to ask anyone who has seen the shit to avoid spoilers, but we're just going to give vague overviews. That being said, though, also, we're going to do gaming news, because a lot of weird and or interesting or just funny, partially illegal shit happened this, uh, week. Like, legit, this week. Now, that also, once we're not doing that, we're going to talk about possible good Black Friday deals we wish we could have got or people got. You ain't got to brag so much as just show and tell what exactly is going on. Now, that being said, Pika, what do you want to start with first? Let's start with gaming shit. All right. Well, you got some good news for us or bad news or fucked up shit? Um, well, just uh, rented Gran Turismo Sport. Nice so far. Also, let's get right into the talk about the uh, modifications of the thing that shares the name with what you use to turn on a light. Are you talking about the Switch? Switch? Yeah. Okay, okay. For those of you who aren't uh, aware, yes, recently the Switch is now completely open. The bitch has been hacked. You can run homebrew on it, however, there haven't been any real apps made. I didn't have a look. Uh, uh, of course you didn't. You ain't even got a switch. All right, so go <laughs> ahead, uh, hit, uh, Pika. Give them the details. I'm, I just literally got a phone call. I'm taking it one moment. Oh. Well, while he's doing mm-hmm. that, I'm going to go look up Ultra Instinct memes, specifically of Tom and Jerry. Wow. <laughs> Ultra Instinct Spider-Man. Dude, the Spider-Man Ultra Instinct meme is one of my favorites, but the Tom and Jerry is just hilarious. For those of you who don't know what Ultra Instinct is, it is a new form in Dragon Ball that apparently anyone can receive instead of just fucking Saiyans, which I'm happy with. I like it just because that means anyone can do it and it's not limited to fucking genetics. So... 
Uh, when it came out, though, everyone was a bit not mad at it, but they were surprised by it, and they also thought it was funny because Ultra Instinct's main ability, because it actually gives you ability instead of just, oh, your powers increase, is that you can escape or dodge almost any form of danger, and you can sense it coming. Basically, it, get, it turns you into Spider-Man and gives you Spider-Man reflexes on top of your already reflexes. However... The trade-off is, is that you have to run on pure instinct. You can't use it while you're thinking about what you're doing for the most part. For instance, if you were to try to punch me without me looking and I dodge it and I say to myself, I'm about to grab your fist and punch you in the face, I've already lost half of my ultra instinct power. You have to let your body decide without your mental input, which is very hard for anybody to do. And also, rather dangerous. I mean, especially Vegeta. Well, it's, it's Vegeta. Yeah, period. Yeah. He, he will find a way to fuck it up if he does it. No, he won't. It's Vegeta. You, you use your own logic. It's Vegeta. Anyways. Vegeta, Vegeta doesn't fuck up shit. You want us to go through this shit again? No. Okay, because what happened last time? You lost. You know why? Because you sided with Vegeta. Look, one it was, word. It was logic. Okay, Nappa. Remember what Vegeta did to Nappa? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everybody got a plan until Vegeta show up and fuck it up. Damn, that's true. That is really true. Everyone had a plan until Vegeta showed up and fucked it up. Holy shit. I was saying it as a joke. Ah, oh. oh, Vegeta, you a fucking bitch. He, he, he's not. He's just... He's, okay, fine. He's a little bitch. He's been misunderstood, that's all. He's had well, some of the only character development in the entire franchise. He did beat Kuro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, after Nappa beat him. Mm -hmm. Oh, he did beat Broly. Oh my god, for the love of fuck. How the f No. Okay, technically, he, Goku, Trunks, and Gohan beat it Burley. And that was a movie and not canon. All right, you ready, Rob? <sighs> well, I'm as ready as I'm ever going to be because now I have to leave early because stupid motherfucker who got sent home a little bit early because work wasn't as bad as they thought it was going to be took home a fucking walkie with him, which is what we need to communicate while we're at work. So I have to go by his house to pick it up. <sighs> Fuck me running. So it looks like I'm going to be able to answer this first question, and then that's it. I have to go out of the way to get this damn thing. Sorry, bro. The most inconvenient well, bullshit shit. ever. Yeah, like, why would yeah. this? It's their job to watch their own shit. They should have him bring it the fuck back. No. Yeah, Are they I mean, even going to reimburse you for gas? Incompetent. No, because it's technically not on the job. No, then they should, why don't they fucking tell him to go bring it back? Shit. He the one who took it. Yeah, I know, but it's it's fucking it's whatever. I'm I'm not gonna fucking argue. We need the shit to communicate. I'm not just gonna have him off cast and like risk not having it because he's lazy and all this shit. Anyways, um so, yeah, okay, so gaming news, um, Switch being open, um, yeah, the, the one game that you needed to open it up was Pokemon Tournament DX, I think it was. Uh-huh, yeah, there are, there's only one caveat, um, once they got into it, it's 3.0 or lower, and the, and the whole entire network is currently on 4.0, but you know how these things work, once they get in one, they gonna get in them all. Takes time, yeah. So basically, if you have an unopened switch from like day one, you, you would be golden, mm -hmm. yeah. But now, like even with like a whole lot of people's switches being updated and whatnot, and I'll have to wait for a more like up to date, up to code crack. Um, the price of that game is then going to start going up real fast. And uh, yeah, I do believe even... that might be possible. I, I believe that too. Mm -hmm. And then here's my question, though. I don't know if you well, if you know anything about it, but if you digitally download it instead of get a physical, like, will it still work? The hack?
Hello? Pika, can you hear us? What kind of stuff comes out for it and how long it is. Hey, uh, quick question. Yeah. Uh, if you download or if you get the digital version, do you know if it'll still work or does it have to specifically be the physical version? I think it may have to still be the physical version. Mm. Okay. Now, what were you saying about it? It'll be interesting to see um, how quickly these people are going to make like the programs to start like loading like uh, the um, the digital versions of games, like just like downloaded ISOs, ROMs, blah blah, whatever. You instead think of we'll just get, like uh, normal. You think they can make mm. a, or put a 3DS emulator on it? Quite possibly. It's not out of the realm of possibility. They'll have to do some serious coding, but I think it's possible. Okay. Yeah. All, right, All right. Well, uh, I'm sorry you had to go this quickly. Um, yeah, I mean, bullshit. yeah, sorry, bro. But look at it this way. We're going to be doing shit probably Saturday or Sunday. So I strongly, strongly advise you keep your, two, your finger on the pulse because I think Saturday mm -hmm. or Sunday I'm just going to do gaming news completely, just gaming news and making fun of it. You're welcome to come. All right, man. I'll, I'll keep my eyes open. All right, catch you guys later. Later, man. Later. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, let me get in on that gaming news because obviously uh, it's, a, it's, the, it's the biggest elephant in the room. And yes, officer, you can talk first, but we might as well go into it. The governments, some of them, are finally deciding to get up in the ass and ram and ram every single illegality they can into microtransaction loot box gaming. <laughs> I just saw that article. How, man? They've been talking about it since, like, Monday. Anyways, okay, so long story short, we all know about the <clears throat> debacle of anytime EA puts their hands on anything, or in this case, their sweaty-ass ball sack after they got out of the gym for three hours. This time, they tried to do it with Star Wars. You know, Disney's pride and joy. And it blew up in their face, and they got shit everywhere. See, their microtransaction loot box bullshit was so entrenched into the game system that the game actually was not functional or fun to play. At the fuck all. At all. So, when people started complaining about it, they started trying to justify by talking to them on places like, you know, random ass websites and also Reddit, where they didn't ask me anything. Here's the problem, and this is funny. Every single time they answered a question and they threw gasoline onto their own fire, that's in their pants, the questions got so downvoted that the, the modders had to literally go in and put links up to their responses because they were getting downvoted so fast. So then after this, Disney CEO called up the CEO of Electronic Arts because besides not being a gamer, he wouldn't know what the fuck is going on, right? So we don't know what happened in this conversation, but here's what we do know. Uh, after that, at some time after that, they turned off all the uh, microtransactions, which they said was temporary. While we readjust the game balance. But while that was going on, Belgium and Hawaii, who started this, but those two, now along with about eight or other countries, are pitching to the EU, the European Union, for those of you that don't know, that these bitches isn't introducing gambling to children, and either the game is going to be banned or loot boxing in general is going to be banned. And if it becomes an EU ban, that means that every game that has microtransaction loot box could be in, in effect. And Damn. Real, yeah, realistically, they don't have a big defense because the main thing about gambling is it's very, very easily defined for a lot of the big corporations and the all, uh, not corporations, uh, the big governments. You're buying something or you're risking buying something or getting something and you don't know if you're guaranteed to get it. Now, let me ask you something, you Overwatch players. When you open a loot box, do you know what's going to be inside? You mean disappointment crates, and no. Dang. Not at all. 
I just know. Well, actually, I do know what's going to be inside. It's either going to be sprays or duplicates. Ha! Oh, man. It's funny because it's true, but also slightly depressing because it's true. Anyways. All right. Um, so here's the thing. My question to you guys is, because I get to ask a question, even though it wasn't planned. Do you get, do you think that they're going to, fuck. Hey, uh, you know, the robot voice is one of those, it's on your side type of deals, right? Uh, except that doesn't help reconnecting and stuff. It doesn't help. I tried it. Okay, well, I just reconnected. And now I can hear you just fine. Well, anyway, for, you were saying? Yeah, for the future, I'm just going to, since I'm staring directly at the screen, I'm just going to stop talking until the red goes away and pick up where I left off. Anyways. All right. All right, so I was just saying, do you guys think that EA could somehow turn this around and get all loot boxing unbanned? Or do you think... The, the first nail in the coffin has been hit, officer. Well, first off, the hills are alive with the sounds of shit bombs. No, no, this is the end. EA has fucked up so bad <laughs> that that I, I don't think there's coming there's any coming back from this. They're going to try and lobby the fuck out of this, yes. And, well... Inevitably, it'll be up to lawmakers, but in the EU, I don't think they're going to have any of that shit. Here in the United States, though, eh, they're probably going to Oh, they're going to pay a lobbyist. That's what they're going to do. Yeah, that's what I said. We're about they're to lose net get neutrality. Their we are literally about to lose net neutrality. Yeah, they're just going to pay some lobbyists, so in the U.S., it's going to be fine. But in the EU, might be some changes there. Yeah. Ugh. But yeah, as far as I see it, yeah, EA has fucked up so bad that uh, I, I'm kind of in the middle. The they have fucked up so bad that they have gotten not only Disney, the big mouse, it's all yeah, we're gonna fuck you up. But now, the EU is probably going to go and ban their gambling, uh, sim their various gam the gambling simulator games for their loot box. So, uh, yeah, I think all, at least some, is right in the world now. But, pity we won't get in the United States. That's my say. Hill? I'm going to put this in the terms of how I'm living right now. Say one day you have a private with his messy room, but he knows that the room inspection isn't going to be until next week until the sergeant major just happens to do a surprise room inspection to the barracks. He sees this messy room, and now everybody in this bitch is about to have a health and welfare to make sure the room isn't like that, and we pull out our NCOs to cuss them the fuck out. This is what we're dealing with. EA has the messy room. And now we're all getting fucked for it. Ha! Ha! Oh my god, that happened so many times. Hmm. Yup. So that's pretty much it. So do you think, fuck. do you think that they can fix this shit, or do you think that the storm is only just beginning? The storm has just begun because I'm pretty sure if they don't do anything that's gonna drastically affect their game. Which they're not, because they're saying that it's temporary fix until we balance shit out. And I'm still going to be pissed about this shit. And they've already stirred up the Disney-ness. So this is just a calm before the storm, before they really fuck shit up. What if Disney bought EA? Not going to happen. Bro, no. they got the money? In my Dude, mind. Don't, don't, you should know by now not to say that when the mm -hmm. House of Mouse is involved. You should mm -hmm. know by now. Cause that's the same thing I was saying. Like, oh. Yeah, I was like, oh yeah, well, man, what if they took over everything? Oh, like they did in the '90s? What didn't they take over in the '90s? Video games. 
What's the only thing left for Disney to take over? Video, video games. games. And space. But right now, video games. I thought Disney bought Mars. They would if they could. So I guess they kind of already own space. <laughs> They would if they could. <laughs> they would if they could. Look, China's trying to own pieces of the moon. I'm like, are you fucking serious? Like, bitch, you're trying to have a space war before we even get into space. I'm like, China. What can you do in the moon? Nothing. It doesn't matter. It's the f- They're trying to preserve the future. I'm like, you realize, even if you did try to fight for the moon, where is your money, resources, and supplies going to come from? Earth. So who's going to get nuked? Earth China. So there won't be a space China. Like... It was it was the stupidest shit ever. Like the whole all the world governments collectively went, "What the fuck are you doing?" It's the moon. Anyways, so <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, so we're all pretty much in agreement on. It. All right, uh, now this is one I want to bring up, or I just want to alert you to. Think of it as a secondary form of news, uh, but be aware of it. I know a lot of people like to say one is better than the other when it comes to Hulu or Netflix, or they swear by one and not the other, but there's something I've come to realize a lot of people aren't realizing. Hulu is not giving you the complete version of a show, and they censor things and words, so you're never going to see it uncensored, even if you're set to the adult setting. I don't think anyone's aware of that. Which is stupid because you can watch a horror movie on Netflix. I mean, on Hulu. Mm. But someone can't say something like, I'm, I'm going to blah, blah, beep, beep, beep from Broad City. Broad City, a comedy show of all places. And they fucking, they fucking went out of their way to censor some shit. I'm like, what the fuck? What? So yeah, I started looking into this. And according to the internet, yeah. Besides not airing the shows in their completed formats that would be on a DVD or Blu-ray of that season... What they do is they fucking air whatever aired on network television, which is almost never the full version or can be a censored and edited version. I thought it was some few select cases like the boondocks. No. No. So be aware of that. Also. The first two Marvel shows of the year, or the only two of the year, have come out, except for Defenders. I think, no, wait, was Defenders this year or last year? This year. Okay. So the second of only two Marvel shows on Netflix and the first one for Hulu uh, have been unleashed. Runaways, which only has a few episodes, and I don't know why they're only doing, like, bits and pieces. And, of course, The Punisher for Netflix. First off, I'm going to just say right now, Punisher's better. But not just because there's more content. It's because they have that Netflix Marvel build up behind it. But my question for you guys about this Hulu Marvel stuff is that if y'all remember a few weeks ago, Disney's decided they want to make their own subscription service where everything they have is going to go there, which is really fucking annoying because that also includes other shows that weren't even made for their streaming service being on there. Do you think that, you know, Punisher and all the Marvel Netflix shows are going to end up there now? Why or why not? And remember, they do kind of exist in a legal gray area. And we're going to start with you, Romulus. Hill. Oh, you kind of cut out. You should probably type that so I know. What was the last thing you heard? The kind of shut out through your explanation, and then it cut out right when you were about to say who was going to talk. Okay. All right, so as you have heard, Disney is trying to make their own, well, not, not trying. Disney is making their own streaming subscription service. God knows fucking why. But now they're going to pull everything they have off of every other website. Do you think this will include the exclusive Marvel and Hulu shows? which exists in a bit of a legal gray area, why or why not? And do you think their streaming service is going to be successful? Oh. Excuse me. Well, I think they're going to pull Marvel shows because they already had their own little fingery nubs inside the franchise a little bit. Yeah, they're trying to build Cosby that shit. (laughs) 
How do I think this would be successful? Probably not, because people have already have stuff spread out over their own personal enjoyment factors of what they want to see and on what different platforms. Also, they're just being very greedy right now because they already got like four different channels under them. Damn, ABC that's true. Family, fucking Disney Channel, Disney Actually, XD. hey, somebody Google how many channels does Disney own or have. That's That list is probably going to be insane. I'm legit curious. Aren't they already making money off of Thor already? Dude, it's, it's Disney. They're never not making money. But like, there's, the only thing that they're mad about is that they can't own Japan. You think they wouldn't want an animation studio that works for pennies and animates ten times better than them? But and on top of Pokemon, stubborn. Pokemon, the one thing Disney can't make more money than? But Japan is too stubborn. No, they're not Ooh. stupid. You get bought by Disney, that's your ass. That is your ass. Like, literally, if you Google it, franchises, most successful is Pokemon. And then right under it is Disney and Star Wars. Not even really Disney, just yeah. Star Wars. Yeah, Pokemon, Pokemon has like three billion Digimon? more. What? Pokemon better than Digimon? Outselling. I didn't necessarily say better, just outselling. Okay, well, even then, because... They always, they usually have a constant, like, three billion dollar lead on Star Wars. I don't see why, or how. Because cute and small, adorable things and children bugging their parents to get it. And then those people growing up liking these cute, small, and adorable things and continuing to buy them. But these little kids have... No, we're not talking about little kids at this point now. They're our age, remember? We're Pokemon Generation 1. Okay, but... Never mind. Keep going. Just, just keep going. Because I kind of get it now. Wait, so he'll turn he'll turn into a robot or I turn into a robot? Y'all can hear me, right? Mm -hmm. Now? Yes. Okay, well, I oh, actually gosh. hadn't said anything. I just said, I'm curious how many channels Disney owns. Someone should Google that. It's probably a scary amount. And this is just the tip of the iceberg off of what I Google before I clicked on Show More. Lucasfilm Limited, Marvel Studios... Disney Publishing Worldwide, A and E Networks. They own A and E. Holy yeah. shit! ABC, Boy. ABC Entertainment, ABC what? Family, ABC owned television station. So any television station that ABC owns, Disney owns. I know they had ABC, but then that's not even the Disney channels like Disney XD, the channel that ruined fucking Saturday morning, among other things. <laughs> Yeah, like, I'm curious if you can keep digging what all you can find. Fucking Miley Cyrus. Disney made that. Disney made Miley Cyrus. <sighs> and Raven, and... No, and other technically, technically Raven Simone was already famous, but... She, I mean, she was, but... She, she became somehow stupid as fuck. But then again, rich kid, growing up rich, gonna do and think stupid shit when there's no one to challenge them. Because Raven Simone has said a lot of dumb shit. Like... Yeah. I've Did actually looked know? up shit. I typed in dumb things Raven Simone said. Holy shit! I was. It was like Jaden Smith levels of stupid. Seriously? Jaden Smith levels. For those who oh don't know, it was a bit God. of a meme. It was a bit of a meme, but it was really. It was. Re it wasn't even a meme, really. Oh, it was just no. realistic. Jaden Smith, so stupid. This motherfucker said, "If babies could talk, I bet they'd be the smartest people in the world." Not even joking. He said worse. Uh, uh, and I'm, I'm more. Pretty sure. Yeah, he said worse. And he keeps fucking wearing skirts. Dude, just make up your mind. Like You don't deserve this Toblerone. <laughs> you don't deserve this <laughs> big Oh, Toblerone. man. Oh, yeah. Also, Jaden Smith is the star of possibly one of the shittiest animes to ever exist. But it is still anime. Unfortunately. If it was made in Japan, it was, yeah, it's anime. It was made by Production IG. Stop Stop trying to make an angry voice. It just sounds weird when you do it. It disgusts me that that's a thing. That they got Production IG involved with that garbage. Look, what a well. studios have to make money. But my problem is, you know, dignity should play a factor. But hey, fuck me, right? I'm just an American. What do I know? 
America. But fuck no. Anyways, all right. So yeah, that was Chris. All right, same question, uh, officer. Do you think that Disney is going to fuck over Netflix and Hulu, or you think they're fine because they exist in a bit of a gray area? Mm, I think those uh, Netflix and Hulu uh, specific shows are going to be on Netflix and Hulu for at least their next season, and then the re- then from there on, any new episodes will show up on the Disney thing because obviously. Disney made a deal with them and uh, and is allowing them to show these shows. I don't think they're just going to suddenly pull the rug out from under them. Yes, they're that's exactly gonna, what they did. They they uh, they didn't they're reneging on all their fucking movie deals, but the, the reason I say the Netflix shit live inside of Greer because Netflix produced that shit. They didn't just ask Yeah, that's them why they're it. just that's why they're not going to take that away from them. But they're it's probably Disney. gonna try and continue the shows on their own uh, series, their own, you know, what's it, uh, streaming service. That's why everybody pissed about Young Justice season three. Uh, Netflix, for those who don't know, yes, it's going to happen, but it's a. They decided to make everybody think it was gonna go to Netflix, but realistically, if the Warner Brothers streaming service fails. They were going to fucking uh, throw it over onto Netflix, so they just got the deal prearranged, which pisses everyone off. Oh well. All right, Dre. Oh my goodness! All right, where to begin? As far as Disney making that whole streaming service and just. Pulling each and every single Marvel show Ooh. under the rug from Hulu and Netflix. Good, can, can they hear me? Hey, type something if you can hear us or speak. I'm about to say, is that more? I don't know. That's just six. Can y'all hear? Partially, it still is like cutting in and out right now. Okay, how about now? Yes. Okay, I asked him the same question I asked Officer. What do you think is going to happen? I got the first part of it, but then it went into robot. Okay, well, basically what I was saying, uh, since Disney has enough money in the entire world to make this happen, they might as well just go ahead and make it happen. Go ahead and just break each and every single heart of every Marvel fan and go ahead and make this happen and then just uh, say okay fine take our money do whatever the fuck you want just 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 don't make it worse that's already is but then again this is Disney that we're talking about which in any case who knows what they will come up next so as far as the whole streaming services go it's not going to be better than Netflix or Hulu hell no even though they have the money for it but then some tells me they'll try to reimburse or try to um, I don't know revamp things try to make things way better than Netflix and Hulu but look their biggest problem is user interfaces so let's be honest but they're far from that this is Disney that we're still talking about, where the whole yeah you, you know the whole unifer, you know interface thing use the interface thing, but they doing things like late. Netflix and Hulu already thought about this stuff years before Disney ever even think about doing it now. Here's what I'm curious about: Did they stop their DVD service? Or is it just no? They don't, no, they have. This. They just don't advertise it on the website. They anymore. don't have. They don't advertise it on the internet or TV or anything like that. I don't know why they're not doing that. Probably because you know one gets more money than the other. But you know, but, if, if they just add yeah. Blu-rays, I'm down. They're gonna think of. They're gonna think about that next. Blue with Blu-rays. Oh, now we're like black Blu-rays or whatever yeah, you want to call them. Yeah. So, um, what was the second one? No, no, that that was it. It was. Oh. Do you think that they're going to do 
what you just said, basically. Yeah, pretty much. That's, all right. That's all well, for me, I uh, hate to say this, kind of. No, you don't. No, I really don't. I think they're going to try it, but they won't succeed because they keep forgetting everyone already has a shit ton of monthly subscriptions for shit. You're upsetting an already unbalanced, delicate ecosystem. Netflix, Hulu, Gamefly, Warner Brothers upcoming streaming service, YouTube Red. I'm forgetting something. I know I'm forgetting something. Oh, yeah. All the console subscriptions. Yeah, I was about to say that. PlayStation Now, then fucking Xbox. Xbox. And then also, let's not forget, next year, Switch is getting theirs too. That's too much shit. It's too much shit. Now, here, and here's their excuse. They've been saying that, oh, we'll always be significantly cheaper. Bitch, what the fuck does that even mean? Significantly cheaper. It better be a damn dollar. Mm. Yeah. Like, if it's over a dollar, Or like it. three dollars. Because remember, Five dollars. it's only Disney movie shit. It's not fucking their... It's not, it's not uh, television shows. It's Disney movie shit. But let's be honest. They're going to want to add television shows. Which is really going to fuck everything up. So what? Everything's going to be on Hulu and, and their uh, fucking... Um, their Disney subscription service, because Hulu has a contract with ABC and all ABC related shit. Now we got fucking television pro- cable box provider subscription services. Now, did y'all know that? Yeah, Comcast yeah. has its own subscription service now. What the fuck, Comcast? Did you need that? What the hell? Yeah, that's pointless. For the most part, yeah. You bet all it's it is, pointless. No, it's allowing you to watch TV on your cell phone or your computer. But at the same time, if you if got a TV, internet. Yeah, but here's the thing: if you got a cable box, it's pointless, as you say. But that's another thing I'm talking about. This shit is not necessary all the time. So I feel like the fuck. I feel like they don't seem to understand. Just because you're Disney doesn't mean you can do everything. Because mm-hmm. even though you can, not everyone's going to fucking pay for it. So, yeah, I think... I see yes, no for me. Yes, I think they're going to do it. No, I think they'll fail. If they fail, then what's, what's next? It goes back to fucking Netflix and Hulu and they shut the fuck up. And they still get their billions of dollars. That's how it should have been. Cell phone golf. Mm-hmm. All the action games you can put on your cell phone and you pick cell phone golf. We're in the middle of a podcast. You know there's an action game that's free for your phone that has beautiful Joe, Ken and Ryu and Chun Li. And it's an action game, right? And you get their moves. Oh shit. Do they even hear us? I don't think they heard that. Hold on. Let, let me get out of this. Let me get out Alright, can y'all hear me now? Yep. Okay. yep. It's gone now. Okay, what was the last thing y'all heard? But. Okay, I say it's a yes, no situation. I think they will do it. Oh, there it is. Mm -hmm. I think they will do it, but they won't succeed because they failed to factor in how much shit everyone else already has because they assume, oh, we're Disney. People are just going to do it. No, no Disney. People who have money might do it. Money, you know that thing the middle class hasn't had accurately adjusted for almost forty fucking years now. Mm-hmm. But uh, let's just be honest. All it is is they feel like since we've had, or not we, since they've had so much wealth and growth because well they managed to get one of the best fucking franchises short of Pokemon. Literally, they got the number two that. They can do no wrong. Of course you can do wrong. But this is a case of doing stupid. Legitimately stupid. So, yeah, it'll happen because they're Disney. If they say they're going to do it, they're going to do it. It's a matter of success, though. How long do you think it'll be until they realize, oh, we fucked up? How long is it going to take? It's Disney. There is no fuck up. 
there is only you didn't make enough money even though you were successful or you made more money than we expected you to. So I'll take it a year. There's a reason we don't have a Tron 3. They were successful. They made profit, but they didn't make enough profit. Mm. So still, it'll take about a year. Mm-hmm. Anyways. All right, moving on to our original shit. Um, all right, so just for a little bit of talking points, unless somebody else got some news topics. Okay. Um, not really. Okay. The Punisher is one of the only shows I think that has happened in the modern era that you can truly consider edgy. Yes, there are many places that claim that they're edgy or they were trying to be edgy. Quentin Tarantino thinks he's the definition of edgy and cool. But eh, much like also Quentin Tarantino, you're not really ever going to get what you pay for. I can honestly say that's not an issue with The Punisher. Because The Punisher has been did what few of the quote-unquote edgy motherfuckers who claim they were edgy truly did. They found a balance. They found that balance in a story. You can't be trying to pander or just be edgy every five seconds. You have to find a middle fucking ground. And they did it. It's... The Punisher is one of the easiest characters who you can make a movie for or a television show for because he's got the oldest story known to man. Revenge. That's it. Revenge. Or in this case, revenge going too far. That's the Punisher in a nutshell. Revenge going too far. So my thing is, they made sure to have people understand that this guy is indeed not holding back, but at the same time, he's not a mindless fucking killing machine. At all. You get to see his character, you get to see his past and his family, you know that thing that Marvel never brings the fuck up, we don't even know what the fuck looks like anymore. It's not mm -hmm. like his Uncle Ben or Aunt May, like the, you, no one knows really what his fucking family looked like. Um, so we're not even gonna mention the whole Punisher movie. No, we already did. Oh, okay. And there were two of them, but like I said, it, it, it's, it's the same shit. He's the easiest motherfucker to write because all you got to do is give him a target and just plan what happens around him trying to get to that target. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think the first Punisher was good. Well, here's the thing, though. Like, you're the only one that saw it, though. Both of them. None well, of us have seen any of the Punisher movies. Oh, yeah. Well, the only thing I can say is, well, you know what? Finish your thought. What I was going to say was, is that since the show opens with him finishing his shit list, for the most part, you don't actually have to worry about anything, okay? You don't actually have to worry about this entire story being over the, de the dead horse that's been beat by Hollywood and also in Daredevil, if you think about it, to a pulp, which was a surprise. Within the first, and this is the only spoilers I give you, within the first... Uh, 30 minutes, he stops going by the name Punisher and he even burns his vest. So, that automatically told you from the beginning, we're not about to do what you think we will. And I like that. However, they also included what I, one of my favorite things about how, how doing a television show works over a movie. Slow burn. Now, I know y'all have heard it used different ways, but just let me clarify what I mean by it. When I say slow burn... What I mean is that you know how it's going to end or you have an idea who's going to get fucked up by the trailer, but you get to see how it happened. You get to see those moments that led into it, not just, oh, this was spontaneous because, oh, that one guy burst into a room and no one saw him. So in the case of The Punisher, he basically gave up being who he was. He was just trying to be a regular worker type drone guy. And he just wanted to mind his own business. But like every good story, something happens that pulls somebody back into something. But what made the Punisher special is that he started meeting old friends. Old friends who had mental issues, PTSD issues, lost ligaments and shit. Mm -hmm. All this crap. But the thing is, is that... <clears throat> excuse me. But the thing is, is that, you know, 
they weren't trying to do the cliches either. Oh no, you can't do this. Violence only begets more violence. You had to stop what you're doing. Like, that daredevil shit is gone. All it is is, look. If I could sum up the, the, the entire season one in one sentence, it would be, Frank, we don't know if you're crazy or not, but you need to calm your tits. To which he responded, it's okay if you can't tell if I'm crazy or not. My tits will never be calm. They're also very bouncy. Anyways, and when they found that balance, I liked it. Yes, it does get gruesome. Yes, it does get bloody. Yes, it does get violent. But it's not boring or gornography as people like to call it. Gornography. Yeah, it's not like, you know, a horror movie slasher or, oh, look, you get to see entrails, so this movie's automatically darker. No. In fact, this this Frank Castle is actually more toned down than the comic book Frank Castle, which is ironic. Fun fact, the Punisher got into a fight with Eminem. I thought he kidnapped him. No. They got into a fight. And they eventually, you know, became friends. But it was funny what Eminem did to him. He's like, well, you did still kill my friends. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to punch you up the side of this boat. And it was funny. Uh, I really want to get that comic. Huh. I think there's a way to read that comic. That yeah, much. comicsology. <laughs> Shit came out like uh, seven, eight years ago. So, yeah, it's just up there. Yeah, but still, it was like some kind of torrent thing. Yeah, there's, there's plenty of comic book torrents. Everything Marvel releases in one week, you can get in one torrent at a, on a weekly basis. It's, that's just how shit is now. But no, you're not going to get that one off a torrent because it's too, too old. You would have to get like a Punisher collection and pray it's in there. Anyways, also another fun fact. Nick Fury and the Punisher had a beat-em-up game back in the 90s. That must have been amazing. Dude, he, Nick Fury was smoking the whole fucking game. In the 90s? Yeah. The Nick Fury and the Punisher have a team-up game together. Huh. Yeah. didn't know that. Never played it. For Super Nintendo or either the arcades, if memory serves. Um, yeah. Uh, anyways, so yeah, that's... that's uh, oh, oh, yeah, I guess I should talk about the runaways. Eh, it's got three or four episodes. Eh, it's a bunch of runaway mopey teenagers that found out their parents were villains or bad guys back in the day, but they're not and they don't want to be. So they ran away. Eh, half of the cast is the wrong ethnicity, except for like one character who shouldn't even be playing a teenager because at this point she's almost 35. But since she's short and Asian, she can magically look like she's a child. Yeah, that old stereotype. Or something. Yeah, mm. this character named Nico. Um... But, yeah, it's not a bad show, don't get me wrong, it's just, it's really, it's not interesting for me because, for me, Hulu set the bar, not Hulu, Netflix set the bar so high, or Marvel in general sets the bar so high, and when I look at the Runaways, I'm just like, this is going to be a slow burn TV show, which means that they haven't made the episode that's going to hook me yet. I think they got about three or four out. What about Legion? It's not a Hulu show. It's an FX show, but it is really good. Mm. And somehow they found a way to not mention that his dad is Professor Xavier, which I found interesting. <laughs> huh. what, I, what I don't understand is how the fuck he has a sister now. Like, what the fuck? But their use of special effects is pretty good. Because, like, you know they got a low budget, but you fucking can't tell. Just like with Dragon Ball Z, Light of Hope. Oh, he's not going to stop bringing up that movie. Well, I mean... I mean, it didn't suck, though, so... But that's what I'm saying. It's kind of They weird. had a low budget, but they made it Cause awesome. Of the, yeah, because of the effects. And here, here's my favorite part about that. Everyone tells me how good that shit is. It's got almost 40 million views on YouTube. I sent, like, 20 links to it. I still haven't watched it. <laughs> you lazy bum. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm lazy and I got two jobs and you don't. Anyways, okay, so now it ends up, I feel like both of these shows, though, are going to elevate what we see coming up next. Like, I genuinely feel like 
we're going to see, at least in the next two years, we're going to see, unless there's World War Three again, um, we're going to see some major improvements. Because where they are right now, there's no place to go but up. They got good writers, with the exception of Iron Fist. They got more than decent action sequences. And their effects budgets are probably going to go up too. They're back. They're being backed by Hulu, Netflix, and Marvel. Like these writers and these directors, they're they're in a golden period right now. It's like it's like the movie industry before the giant corporations all came in. Cause that was one of the biggest hallmarks about the movie industry. Like everything was fine. Oh shit! Hey, Matt. You're a robot. Robot. Well, yeah, it was working on your end, too. All right. Everything right now is in a bit of a plateau right now. So mm. something will obviously upset the delicate balance as all big fucked up corporations do. <clears throat> EA. Yeah. But. Nah, they ain't big like that. Uh. But the thing is, is that their franchises are, though, ironically. But the thing is, is that fucking there is no reason for anything to go in backwards or go into a decline they can look at their feedback in real time on the internet people will find you and give you feedback to shit even though you might not have been involved with the writing process it's crazy and on top of it you know there's a literal rating system built into all of these uh, streaming services so they got a good idea what to and what not to do. That's why I feel like Iron Fist Season 2 is going to blow out Season 1 because everyone knows what was wrong with Season 1. Which was? Everything that wasn't the supporting cast, which means the main fucking character. Yeah. Like, if you removed, that sh if you removed Iron Fist from it, I would probably watch that show and think it's the bomb. But then when you get him in Defenders, it's like, oh, they fixed all that shit. Hmm. Anyways. Even though it almost seemed like Iron Fist was like... Bruh, too far away. Oh, I'm sorry. Even though it seemed like Iron Fist was like the main source or like the main plot... Of course he was. Defenders. But then you got Daredevil as the leader. Of course. See, the thing about the Defenders is, well, for one, I don't know enough about them to tell you who started the team, but people after me. And if you look at just combat skills, technically it should have been... Iron Fist, but the thing is, is that it, just from a story standpoint, Daredevil would have been the best choice because he can see things that, uh, it's ironic, we're talking about a blind man, but he can see things people can't. True. So if someone's too far away and they don't know where they are, he knows they're there. If someone possibly is having trouble with a fight, he's going to be able to look into it. Here's the part that pisses me off about the Defenders, though. Even in real life, how the fuck did Elektra do anything to fucking Luke Cage? Oh, she got away from him. How? He could throw something through her fucking torso. Oh, that was easy because Stick... Plot had... device. No. Plot armor. No, but Stick kind of... I don't know what... I don't know how to put plot this. Plot armor. But there's a the whole thing. Spoiler warning. You have five yeah. seconds. Luke Cage... Walked into a room, saw Daredevil getting his ass beat when it was in that fucking big ass corporation boardroom. And he looks at her. She's about to cut him. He just sticks his hand out. Boop! And he's like, okay, well, I'm going to fuck you up now. And she somehow just gets away from him. Second time, this bitch get hit by a car. And she's unconscious in a fucking Chinese food restaurant. That One, that didn't kill her. But two... There's Luke Cage. She stands up. Oh, here's an idea. Why don't you go thump her so her brain comes out the other side? And then there's Jessica Jones. Jessica Jones, I can understand. Not because uh, she's a woman, she's inferior, some other stereotypical bullshit. But here's the thing. Jessica is a puncher. That's it. All she does is punch things really hard. And kicks. Nah. No, she... Dude, she hasn't kicked She jumps anyone. high. She can jump real high. Yeah. She's superhuman almost. But, she, oh, but, no, she is. but here's the thing. She can get away from her easily because she's the most telegraph motherfucker ever. It's Everything is this or this with Jessica. A straight punch or a hook. 
So if I'm Electra, basically a trained fucking ninja, step backwards, step backwards, step backwards, and she's still, but she's pierceable. So it's more of a threat for both of them. But Electra had that whole black sky thing on her. Dude, so. that doesn't that doesn't mean shit. All it means is that if she dies, she can come back. That's the whole thing, though. She's still, but the body's still human. Yeah, like Luke, Luke Cage could literally grab her by the wrist, and she couldn't do shit. And somehow that never happens. Plot armor. Just call it. I, I, I look. I know a goat when I see one. God damn it. Anyways. But yeah, that's that's just a personal gripe. Um, but uh, yeah, I feel like it. Fuck. I feel like the best choice to watch is Punisher, but that does not mean the quality is garbage on Hulu either. Even though they only got one show and the rest of it is you know stuff that's already on TV. Gifted Legion, that's all already shit that's on TV. Also, it's a bit confusing because Runaways and Gifted, kind of the same thing. Teenagers with supernatural abilities running for motherfuckers. I mean, mm. on paper, is that really different? It's like, oh, what's what's Runaways? The Breakfast, the breakfast Club with Mutants. <laughs> what What's Gifted? Also, The Breakfast Club, but you can actually say the word Mutants. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a bit of a referential humor. Uh, okay, so uh. if y'all don't know the triggering point for the out and out bullshit between Fox and Marvel, Marvel said mutants in some form of media or in some type of material that they uh, that they made, and Fox's lawyers decided to sue them for using the word mutant. Nothing else happened. That's all it was. They said the M word. And they decided, oh, we're going to try to sue you. But here's the thing. The lawyers can do what the fuck they want to do. So no one even told them to go specifically after Marvel. And that's what started this bullshit. And also, it would have been really awkward because with Sony, Sony might have gotten involved too. And Sony only got uninvolved because of a fluke. Back when they first made Spider-Man or Spider-Man 2, Hugh Jackman was supposed to show up in the movie as Wolverine. Which was dumb, because they didn't even really plan it out, but they said, oh, we're going to use a suit, but we don't know what we're going to have you do. But the suit got stuck or lodged in between something, and no one knew where it was. Right? Yeah, I'm not even joking. So, he ended up having to go do, or fly out to do something else outside of New York, and he left. Now, how would that have worked? Here's a mutant in a Sony movie, but you want to go sue Marvel for saying the word mutant? What? And f is is Fox the one that's doing this? Yeah, Fox lawyer sued Fox gotta for be saying the, the n-word. Fox gotta be the dumbest. And that's what spiraled down to where we are now. Why it took so long. Yeah. Also, not even a fun fact, bad fact. That's right, bad fact. Marvel vs. Capcom three. Just getting Storm in the game alone took Capcom four fucking months. Cause of Fox, mm. four fucking. Months. So, uh, got any other topic? I mean, I was done with that one, but yeah. Uh, Black Friday deals and hauls. Who got some good shit or who knows where to get some good shit? Well, Steam Autumn sales on and eh, pretty good deals there. Other than that, I try to avoid going out anywhere on Black Friday, like in person. Because, uh... Matt. We're big dudes. Yeah. You should not be scared. They're scared of you. I'm well aware. I just don't want to deal with the bullshit. There's no bullshit when you're a big dude. People will be stupid. Always. That is true. But I don't want to deal with people being stupid. Dude, then you would never go outside in America ever. If I can avoid it. You know what I mean. No, I don't. I don't speak back. I don't want to deal with all these crazy people totally losing their minds over, like, the stupidest things at the store, because, eh, okay, so you're going to go and you're going to get this crazy deal, but they only have maybe two or three of the item, and they're not going to say anything when they sell out. 
Well, that's when you make examples out of them. I just don't... Uh, I don't know what that sound was, but it went off at like the right time. What? No, like right when you said make examples out of them, something made like a snapping noise or something. Uh-huh. But yeah. All right. <sighs> what about you, Dre? Well, no, I got nothing for Black Friday. Of course you didn't. Fucking pussy. It wasn't even that. Yeah, it was. Money issues. Nah, you was sitting around sleeping. Anyways, <laughs> you was fucking knocked out from that turkey. I woke up at like 10.30. And you got to eat the turkey like groceries. Anyways, all right, Hill, don't let me down. I know you found something or you saw something good on sale. Hill, can you hear me? Mm-hmm. All right, start over. What'd you find? Oh. I don't know. Nothing really. I don't go out. Just for Black Frank, and I just don't really want to go out. If I only had, like, if I only had a certain amount of money, I've been like, do y'all just forget that <clears throat> y'all can buy the Black Friday shit online? <clears throat> oh my god. Okay, I guess that just leaves yours truly. Man, I've already ordered 13 things, most of which are 70 to 80 percent off. 13. And I'm going amiibo hunting, but only to like two different spots because even if I don't get them, everything's going to be buy one, get one free. And if it's not buy one, get one free at where I'm trying to go, there's also deals on Steam. In fact, a third of the shit I wanted on PC, because I don't play, I don't really play PC games like that. All are either 40% or more off, including the expansion pack to XCOM 2, which basically converts the whole entire game. And on top of this, I'm probably going to get, uh, I'm going to layer some discounts to get 12 months of um, PlayStation Network for 40% the normal price for a 12 month subscription. And on top of that, uh, there's one place who has a discount on the season pass for Dragon Ball Fighter Z, but they have Hit and they have Lord Beers. So realistically, do I really need or want that season pass? You want it? No, I don't. Yeah, you do. Dude, it's, first off, it's got two you words I don't said, like seeing combined: seasoned and pass. But you said yeah. one character, Hit, is not the DLC. But he's you want base the roster. He's base roster though. Him and Beers, they're base roster. So that means that everybody I wanted is base roster. The only person missing from base roster that I would have any other interest in is probably going to be DLC. And even then, she's not a deal breaker for a season pass. And plus, we don't know if she's coming yet. Is uh, Caulifla or whichever one of those female Saiyans basically just is like a thug. Like she's a fucking thug, which I thought was hilarious. She's an arrogant thug. Cam. Yeah. Yeah, that one. Now that Brawly clone, look, there's enough of those. Personally, I would like to see other trunks so we have two future trunkses. That would be fun. But I think what's going to happen at most is that they'll maybe make DLC special moves or they'll add some mode in or something because that's too much shit. He's an, he's an exclusive form of Super Saiyan that no one else got. Why would you leave that out? And if they're putting in Super Saiyan Rose, Trunks is already there. So, like, what the fuck? Oh, man, and when he dual wields them two spirit swords. Mm. Oh, dual wielding Trunks. The one thing everyone fucking wanted. Oh, man. Tear comes to my eye. A tear. But he can't do anything against Deadpool. How the fuck do you come to the logic that Trunks can't beat Deadpool? Y'all heard that, right? Because of the fact that when you mentioned that he has two spirit swords and it's Trunks, I'm like, oh, a Deadpool, uh, kind of like a Deadpool parody, but 
Yeah. That's just all I got. When I think of trunks with two swords, I think of Deadpool. I think of long sword style. That aside. Oh. Okay. God. Hey, hey. Two is always better than one. Two is always better than one. And three is sometimes better than two? No. Anyways. Not to mention, you know, there's various Black Friday deals just for today and tomorrow on um, the PlayStation Network and the Xbox Network. Nintendo ain't doing shit as per usual. They only hit the two major holidays. Christmas era and there was one other one I'm forgetting about. But it doesn't matter because it's Nintendo. Also, various companies who have their own stores and franchises are also doing sales and discounts. Square Enix store actually has a discount on almost everything that's available. And of course, you know, if you hit the Amazon deals button, you can see all 1,509 items that are on discount or sale in Amazon. But, yeah, yeah, I, I, I'd say I'm doing pretty well. The legendary Breath of the Wild Guardians Amiibos, they came out on the 10th, coming for that ass. Coming for that ass. Well, officer, closing statements. Well, fuck EA, fuck Konami, but also thank you, EA. For fucking up? Yes. <laughs> what about you, Romulus? Let's see. I hope nobody's died today, but I do expect to see some good fights on my Facebook feed. Uh, well, it is Black Friday. <laughs> How about you, Dre? Ultra Instinct. Memes. <laughs> Put it in YouTube. Ultra Instinct memes. The shaggy Ultra Instinct meme has almost 2 million views. I looked dun, it up dun, earlier. Dun, 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 and yes, dun, it's dun. actually Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. And I guess that just leaves me. Well, I really I really want y'all to understand something. This is really important. I don't say this very often, but y'all need to know how I feel. Fuck y'all. Go Black Friday shopping next year. I'm out.